Hi, Steve Fortner here at NAM Winter 2013 with Simon Jones from Line 6. I saw you last year. You did a great video for us about the Venue Stagescape M20D mixer. Thank you. Yep, we're great. <laughs> and um, we, we, uh, I'm, about, I'm, I'm punchy too. It's like, it's only, it's only Thursday. Um, so we recently uh, reviewed in keyboard the uh, L3Ts, the Line 6 Stage Store speakers, uh, kind of from the standpoint of a very luxurious keyboard amp. Uh, the one thing that anybody might have complained about about them is they're kind of big and heavy, especially if you're a keyboard player carrying keyboards and stands and several other things. So now behold the L2T, correct? Right. Yep. Uh, which is the same DSP, but with a single woofer, correct? Exactly. I mean, it's exactly the same, but single woofer. It's an 800-watt two-way system. The L3T, we had the extra low frequency driver, and it was a three-way system. So as you're right, you know, if you want the same studio quality sound, really flat frequency response, that um, you use it as a keyboard amp, all in one PA, um, then it will give you and deliver exactly the same results, um, but just in a smaller, more, even more portable, compact package. So, you know, some of those things, we've got full steel grill, we're dealing with a full plywood wooden box, so it's ultra durable, ultra resilient and, um, uh, to vibrations and things like that, so you get a really sort of solid sound, a very rigid enclosure. We've got the same, you know, flip-out handle here that also acts as a little kickstand, if you want, if you want that. And then, as far as the all-in-one component, as you found out, here we've got it plugged into our... our, um, our Mobile keys uh, and uh, iPads. So we've got stereo in here, we've got the stereo link on here, so we can use this whole channel strip to control both stereo sides at the same time. Where we've got gain, three-band EQ, sweepable mirror, we've got some modulation effects, reverb, 12-band feedback suppressor per input channel. And this one also, you know, if you you might be that combo singer-songwriter thing, might not be keyboards all the time. Right, so there's the other guitar input, there's acoustic uh, body modeling. We've got acoustic body, body, body modeling, so huge amount of versatility on here. So you've got this flat frequency response loudspeaker system here. You can dial in your own tone here per input. And then lo and behold, on the back, the same things as the L3 systems. We've got the whole sort of power bit, power amp business end of it. We've got a couple of line inputs here. So if you're playing to tracks and things, bam, they go there. Also feedback suppression there, master level. We've got a smart speaker modes here, which is like having a speaker processor built in. Loads and loads of DSP in it. So if, it, if you wanted something that was more attuned to, the key, uh, you know, to a keyboard dynamics and sound, then... You know, you put it in keyboard mode, and it's not just EQ and use, moving the crossover points, so using more of the woofer, the 10 inch driver. Right. A lot more musical, right? So you're not putting all this sort of nuances through a compression driver. Um, it's, it's a lot more beneficial to get a more musical um, uh, uh, reproduction. Um, floor monitor mode. We've got our little mini kickstands here that if you wanted to tuck it underneath your keyboard and really have it uh -huh. tilted back, you've got that there. Um, and then you've got um, this Line 6 link capability here. So you might just start off with one of these, and you say, well, that's all very well. I want to have stereo keyboard monitoring. So what you do is you take your Line 6 link cable, right? It's all the digital audio and data, and then you feed it into the back of uh, another one, and all the stereo signals would automatically be re uh, routed left and right. So all the program material in there from your um, iPod or something, left and right, all your stereo effects, or you go in here, stereo on your keys, then all those patches and things would come out stereo left and right through the speaker. That one over there, if we just walk over here, you can just sort of see the difference that if you wanted to extend your system and you didn't want to duplicate all that input, this is an L3M. Right? right, so it doesn't have a little singer-songwriter cafe mixer in no, the side. It's like either an extension yeah. speaker, or if you just wanted to have the same flat frequency yeah. response, the same package, and use our M20D mixer, then you could right. use this, some monitors. You've got or if you even have your own compact mixer and you go into these analog, you can do that as well. Right, and you want the speaker modes, you want the keyboard tone or the acoustic guitar tone, you want the feedback suppressor and all that sort of stuff, and this incredibly high fidelity. I think, you know, you said yourself, it sounded like a really loud studio monitor. Yeah, a really nice studio monitor, yeah. And that, that's what we're going for. We wanted studio quality sound. Because, you know, you put it together in your studio at home or in, 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 uh, in your business, and you want to actually you want to reproduce that on stage as well, right? Why would you want it to sound any different? And that's really what we were going for when we were dialing it in. 
and we do that with using a huge amount of DSP. We've got a big shark processor in there, and we've got Marcus and all the guys there crunching the numbers and using the DSP to sort of shape the sound and take out the nuance and stuff and really flatten it out. So it's a... Uh, Very cool. And this, now this is the L3, or L2 rather, L2M it's goes L, through... L, L2M, at the, at that now, the map of an L2M, price of that is 749, so 800 watts, 749 nice. with all that DSP in there. And then if you want the, the one with the input panel on the side of it, the extra, you know, the digital mixer on the side, that's 849. Very reasonable uh, by, by modern uh, powered speaker standards. And you're really getting a lot for your money. I think the L3, uh, L, I keep saying L3 because I have them at home. The L2M. But they are the same. Yeah, they are. Exactly the same. Yes. It's just one's bigger and one's uh, smaller. The L2M is going to be popular with keyboard players who might actually find carrying a pair of these maybe even a little easier than carrying a single L3 size it's possible, yeah, speaker. Yeah, what um, what I'm, just, I'm just purely speculating. But um, So looking forward to uh, getting our hands on these and taking a listen as well. Right. Um, I've tried with the L, with the L3s all of the smart, scalable DSP uh, digital audio networking stuff on these. Uh, you can read about it in Keyboard Magazine. It really is pretty... Um, it's, this is in the February issue, and it really is pretty phenomenal how these things will talk to each other, each of them knowing their role, main monitor standing up on its side, each of them knowing their role in the overall PA system. Uh, and also look for a review coming up soon of the Stagescape M20D touchscreen object-oriented mixer.